welcome back to this session so in this session we are going to understand the raid uh, types of raid what is raid and how raid is uh, uh, important for the EBS so that will see the uh, EBS with raid also so first the question is what is raid that's a common question while going through this uh, topic so raid is a data storage visualization technique uh, that com combine multiple physical disk drive component into one or more logical units this purpose of that data redundancy performance improvement so uh, basically raid used for the mainly uh, redundancy of data and the performance improvement let's see how uh, raid works but before that let's try to understand the uh, the definition part so raid is a redundant array of independent disk is a way of storing the same data in a different place on multiple hard drive or solid state drive to protect data in a case of drive failure there are the different red level however and not all are goal of the providing the same redundancy but each red level having its own important employ the technique of the stripping mirroring and parity to create a large reliable data store from the multiple general purpose computer hard drive that is uh, that is a hard drive hdd so basically it helps to having the stripping of data mirroring of your data and valid check with the parity using the bit parity so that we'll see in the next slide with the all three importance point how it read important for with the uh, data stripping so data stripping is a technique of segmenting the logical sequential data such as a file so that consecutive segments are stored on a different physical storage device so if you understand it will split your your data and make a sequence of your logical data and it will store in different devices in a sequential the next is the data mirroring so data mirroring is the replication of logical disk volume onto the separate physical drive disk in a real time ensure that continuous ability so it helps to higher ability for your data a mirror volume is a complete logical representation of your separate volume copy so basically it's simply uh, uh, your the copy of one drive to another and it's make your higher availability for your data the third one is the parity bit it's a bit added to the string or binary code to ensure that the total number of one bit in a string is even or odd and the state of condition of being equally uh, especially regard the state of your p so basically it will validate your bit parity so while transmission data it will add one bit and it will check the whatever bit added as a even or add the same bit the uh, same bit will uh, reach to the uh, the destination part with the same uh, even or odd switch status so that will basically validate your bit parity so raid having the multiple levels so let's start with the raid 0 so raid 0 is basically used for the increasing the performance let's see how it increase the performance so raid 0 basically works the simply representation of the logical splitting of your data and it will save uh, in a sequence with the two or multiple drives so here we have taken the two uh, disk here that's a uh, disk 1 and disk 2 and it will store the data in a sequence a1 in a disk 1 a2 in a disk 2 then again a3 in a disk 1 then a4 is a disk 2 so this is the way it will split your data and it will store in the multiple storage disk so to understand the pros for uh, raid 0 so raid 0 basically offer the great level of performance in a read and write operations there is a no overhead of the parity control so parity check will not part of the raid 0 and all your storage capacity use here so your storage having the two different disk drive and it will store the data in a sequential with the two drive so it will your use all your storage if, if you see the cons so raid 0 is not fault run so if something is failed you will lose your data if one drive fail all data in that raid 0 array are lost it should not use for the mission critical system so this will not uh, recommended for the mission critical or important system 
let's move further for the red one red one is uh, increase the pole tolerance let's see how it increase the pole tolerance so red one if you see the visualization it will simply make a replica of disk one to disk two so all data of disk one will replication in the disk two so th there is a simply replication of your all data in the two disk drive so if you see the pros for the red one so red one offer the excellent read and write speed in case of drive fail data do not have the rebuild they just have to the copy to from or replace the drive so in case of your uh, failure of any disk drive still your copy would be there so the backup of your data and the redundancy of data is there all storage capacity is used so that's a pros if you see the cons here so effectively storage capacity is only half of your total drive capacity yeah so you have the two drive for example one drive is 10 gb and second drive is another 10 gb but you can use the at a high level the 10 gb only the rest of 10 gb is your replica of your data so the failed drive can only the replace after powering down the computer is attached to so that's again uh, the cons so if you are failed your drive has been failed in that case uh, you can replace only after powering down your computer to attach so you have to down your co computer then you can attach for multiple access this may not be good so that's correct if you want to multiple access it will reduce your uh, uh, it will reduce your uh, sorry it will add your latency over here if you connect the multiple access over here so how EBS uh, is important with the RAID so we can take the same advantage in EBS so it will basically give the supports by OS so EBS is also supported so EBS is already redundant storage so we can copy the replica in the multiple AG but what if you want to increase the IOPS like uh, 10 lakhs right so there is a limitation of IOPS and if you want to increase so what's the way even EBS is uh, make the multiple replication in AG but still you don't get the high ability of your data so that is important here why RAID is required in EBS what if you want to mirror of your EBS volume so there is no uh, uh, supports for the AWS that EBS can be have a volume with the mirroring so RAID is the possible uh, as long as you can OS support so it's continuous supports by OS so RAID you can configure anytime with the OS support so RAID supports in EBS that's a RAID 0, RAID 1 and RAID 5 and RAID 6 is not recommended for the EBS you can see the documentation of EBS okay so how the RAID uh, 0 EBS uh, basically used let's see the example here so same the instance having the two volume volume 1 and volume 2 and we can configure the OS level RAID 0 so if we see the pros for uh, RAID 0 it is the same as the previous so you can get the throughput and overlap and all capacity is used uh, cons is the same uh, which is the RAID 0 and the one more point here with the RAID 0 so there is a two your uh, volume is so one is the 10 gig EBS volume A and the 10 gig EBS volume B and both having the 2000 I of support so in the RAID 0 you will get the 20 GB of storage and the 4000 IOPS at a total so it, it will increase your IOPS support over here in the RAID 0 so this will basically increase your performance support whereas so if you see the RAID 1 in EVS so this will basically increase your fault tolerance so it gives the high availability for your data so pros is the same which we which actually having the RAID 1 so, so uh, that's the RAID 1 offer the uh, excellent read and write speed in case of data failure that is always backup and all storage capacity is used but it will be having the 50% of your storage capacity and the failed drive can only replace after the powering down so if you see the example having the each uh, volume having the 10 gig and the 2000 IOF support but in red one you will get the actual one volume uh, storage and one volume the IOPS 
so you will get the 10 gig and 2000 iops you will not get the double here so this will increase the fault tolerance and rate 0 is will increase your performance that's the two things so rate 1 will help us to the increase the reliability or redundant of your data and rate 0 is help us here to increase the performance